Good morning, good afternoon, good evening from the dank basement here in southeastern Minnesota. I am Paul Shalbetter, your wicked Uncle Squinty and your snuff guru had a great question via email from Paul P. I'm going to call him Paul P. because I am sure I would slaughter the pronunciation of his last name. But, uh, <laughs> so Paul, you're just going to be known as Paul P., all right? But Paul P. wrote me a very good question. He said, could you provide me with a list of great all-day, everyday snuffs? And that's what this video is about. Short answer, no, Paul P., I cannot provide you with a list of everyday snuffs because everybody has different body chemistry and different tastes. But I do have a couple of pointers and a couple of generalities to share with you this morning. Let's start out with the snuff I frequently carry as an everyday carry all day snuff. This is Golden Horn but from uh, Sir Walter Scott's. This is a very lovely snuff. I am quite sure it is based on Virginia and Perique. And I can sniff this all day long. It's fluffy, it's a medium ground, moisture is very, very nice. And I can use this for an all day snuff, although it could get a little monochromatic by the end of the day, a little bit boring. But here we go, cheers. In general, I would say this, unless you are terribly, terribly, terribly fond of a given aroma, you might want to stick with a plain or unscented snuff or a toast. I like toasts because they provide a lot of flavor without added aromas. They also tend to be higher in nicotine, which I love. So I might use this Golden Horn, but I might just as easily from Sir Walter Scott's use their Lundy Foot, which I think is a fantastic toast. I also love their Thrice Brewed if I want a nicotine kick. Uh, the Thrice Brewed smells great. I love it. The Auld Alliance is fantastic. Uh, for just basic snuff, you need to try something that does not have a lot of added aromas. Uh, now, most snuff mills make plain snuffs of one kind or another. For instance, there's the LA Plain from Six Photo. Uh, Wilson's Plain, Toke's Original, Toke Natural. Uh, these are all unscented, basically, snuffs. Uh, the natural, not the original. The original is scented. Uh, but the Toke uh, Natural is just that. It's just a natural snuff. Um, so most mills will make a plain snuff. If you're looking for Rosinski, you might look for something like the Gold Apper, uh, which is it has some scent to it, but it's something you could use all day long. Now let's talk a little bit about how to carry your snuff for a day. If you've got one of these little three and a half gram or five gram tins, or maybe even a 10 gram tin, uh, those usually fit pretty conveniently into a pocket, and they are a better storage solution for carrying snuff than anything else. Now, you might also use a bullet like this, but again, bullets are leaky as far as air, as are snuff boxes. Those will leak air. Therefore, you're only going to want to carry about a day's worth of snuff in your bullet or your snuff box. Otherwise, they will get stale relatively quickly. They will go stale in your pocket. Uh, to me, a good wooden snuff box holds the aroma a little better than the acrylic vials do or glass vials. But still, you're, do, you're not going to want to leave your snuff in a snuff box for more than a day's use. I just took a little of the golden horn, but to show you what a masochist I am, I'm going to use some of this Snow White Toot. Raspberry scented, closest analog might be the Ozona Type R from Perschel, as far as the um, raspberry goes. The aroma profile, of course, is almost pure rustica. Lots of alkalis added to the tobacco to uh, juice up the nicotine, too. Here we go. Cheers. <coughs> 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 
<coughs> whoa fine and hard to take yeah i made a mistake by filling this snuff box with an aromatic snuff like the white toot it would be better if i just kept some of this uh, golden horn for instance in this i think it would last longer and i'd be more likely to use it more frequently throughout the day now i don't know if any of this helps paul p but in general i would say try a few of the natural or plain snuffs so you find one that agrees with you that you can use all day if you're looking for something with a little sweetness a little booziness and quite a lot of nicotine you might want to try the toke whiskey and honey if you are looking for just a plain natural snuff you might want to try yellow lily plain or the aforementioned la plain snuff from six photo uh, there are a variety of English makers that do plain snuffs, of course. You might want to start with something like that or a toast. If you have a bad cold, you might want to carry a second container with a little bit of medicated snuff or an SP with you to both break up the monotony and to open up your nose. I don't know if any of this helps Paul P. I hope it does. I do enjoy making these videos for all of us. I learn a lot myself because without these videos, there are a lot of snuffs I probably would not try. And uh, I'm really getting the full range of things, uh, both from samples that people send to me and things that I buy. It's been fun. So I'm learning a lot about snuff, and I hope you are too. I cannot highly enough recommend a new channel on YouTube. You guys, please go over to Olfactory Snuff. First husband and wife snuff reviewing team I've ever seen, Sam and Jennifer. They do great reviews, very common sense, very friendly. Uh, Jenny is obviously very enthusiastic about the snuffs. Uh, nice folks. So I want you to check out their YouTube channel, that's all with an apostrophe after it, OL apostrophe factory, all one word, olfactory snuff here on YouTube. And be sure to watch because Toke and Artisan will shortly be offering an olfactory snuff brand nasal snuff. They've gotten into the game along with Simon, I'm glad. I always love to see people come up with new snuff formulas, recipes, and ideas. So I wish them the best of luck on that. They seem to be awfully nice people. Uh, so Sam and Jennifer, Old Factory Snuff, be sure to watch them here on YouTube. Another guy you need to watch, he's just kind of starting out, I think. His name is Snuffman, S-N-U-F-F-M-A-N, -F -F Snuffman. He's got some very nice common sense, pleasant reviews. A little unsure of himself yet, but he's getting there. Uh, of course, there's the ubiquitous Simon, Simply Snuff. And my good buddy, I love this guy. I can hardly wait someday to meet him, sit down and have a cup of coffee or a, a pint with him or something, and uh, shoot the shit about snuff and all things tobacco. He's a great guy. His name is Sean. Sean does business here on YouTube as pure grade A snuff puff and stuff. You need to check out his channel as well. And if you're looking for quick, concise, humorous uh, reviews done by a German guy who speaks flawless English, Five Minute Tobacco, you got to check him out as well. So there's plenty of snuff review content here to watch at YouTube. Don't forget also Snooze at Home, the Angry Buddha Official, Smokeless Choice, and so many others from yesterday and today. Just search snuff reviews, preferably nasal snuff review on YouTube, and you will find more content than you will be able to watch, I think, in a lifetime. So don't just watch my channel, watch everybody else too if you've got the time. Of course, if you don't have the time, just watch this channel. Of course. You know. Getting new subscribers every week, and I love it. If you have not yet subscribed, please click that subscribe button. It's free, and that's a great price. If you are subscribed, click that notification bell icon. You can custom tailor your notifications to make sure that every time I upload new content, you will be notified. 
Hitting the like button is wonderful for my fragile ego, but it's also good for the YouTube algorithm. Smash the like button, even if you don't particularly like the video. And finally, of course, I love your comments and I try to reply to as many of them as I can. Please write your comments, even the insulting ones, in the comments section below. I always appreciate it. From the Dank Basement, having a great week and hope you are too. I am Paul Shellbetter, your Uncle Squinty. What do you carry for an everyday snuff? Please write it in the comments section below. And we'll see you next time.